a new nifty thing, wax seals. So wax seals really are a great thing. Um, as you can see, they close envelopes, they close many things. They're the world's first security system. You know, back in the Middle Ages when, you know, knights went charging across, I don't know, Europe and to deliver things, if that seal was broken, then you knew that there was a spy that had checked the contents. We don't really use it for that anymore, um, but it does still reflect a wonderful old feeling of um, old world. It's, it's, a, it's a great thing. And since I've been selling these for bloody 25 years, the contents of the wax has changed enormously and the ease of use. Back in the old days, you'd get a little like Bunsen burner and you'd light the thing and you'd put a little pot in and you'd melt the wax. You can still do it this way. Now, hot glue guns with the wax put in, it's the most brilliant sort of contemporary way of doing a wax seal. So let's, let's make some. Get these out of the way. This is my little wax gun. I always put something underneath it to catch the potential drips. If you collect your drips, you can put them in a little thing and melt them in a microwave and use those too. If you get a bunch of different colors, it makes a kind of a fun little, you know, creative thing. Do something creative every day. So now this has been heating for way over five minutes, so it's it's really hot. So now we're going to put an actual seal on this envelope. And you just, um, you can either seal it closed, which guarantees that it won't pop up while you're working, or you can just hold it down. I'll do it the brave way. So you just depress the little handle and let it squirt out. You, there's no rush. You just sort of ease it until you get a circle that is about the size that you want. And you can see you just do it very slowly and you keep you can move it out. I'm not depressing anymore. I'm using the nozzle to increase the size of the, um, the, the circle. It doesn't have to be perfect and beautiful. As a matter of fact, a lot of people prefer to see it a little more hand done looking. And I'm going to put this over here and I'm going to find a seal. I'm not very organized over here. So here's one that is very decorative. Here's one that is a big flat ass. I'm fond of asses. Um, all these are different kinds of seals that we carry. Um, this, from the size of this, you think that probably I should be going fast, but it's better for it to, to cool down a little. Here is an L, an excellent letter, and I'm going to put it carefully on top, pressing down. If you do it too early, the, lick, the uh, wax is too liquid. You, Hold it with a little pressure and then you lift up and it's a beautiful, beautiful impression. I hope that the camera can really see how nice that is. And as I said, it's a um, security system. Uh, the other nice thing about it is that um, they've now makes the, make the wax with a lot of bendy stuff. I don't know what scientifically it is, but it makes the wax bendy so that when it goes through the mail and, and one of their damn little machines go like this, um, it won't break. So it's, it used to be a real problem for wedding invitations. Now it's great. So now I'm going to put the wax seal on this and we'll be done. So again, I figure out where I want it, put my, my glob of glue on, making the circle the size I want. Letting it cool slightly, holding these edges down in the meantime. And then putting a, I'll put one of these little, oops, it's running. I'm going to let it run back the other direction. I'm going to take one of these little ones and put it right in the middle, hold it down, give it an extra minute or two, lift it up, and it's a perfect little seal and a very elegant look. Um, a, a few more words about this, this gun. This is a multi-temperature uh, gun, but you use the wax on the low setting. Um, actually, I think this gun luckily only does low, so you can't screw it up. The wax comes in little packets like this. It's a little three-pack. 
Um, it comes in lots and lots and lots of fun colors so that no matter what your project, you, there's a color that you can find that'll look beautiful in it. Um, red is the traditional one, but who needs tradition? Um, this is another kind of wax I want you to be aware of. Um, I think this is probably the finest quality wax that's made today. It's made by a young man. Um, well, he was young when I met him. He's now getting middle-aged. Um, guy in Switzerland. He makes the most beautiful quality waxes in the world. They're, um, uh, they don't fit in the glue gun. Oh well. It's, you know, win some, lose some. But I've developed a, a technique of just putting it in the microwave for a few minutes and keep an eye on it. And then you put it in a little thing that you can pour and it works almost as well as a glue gun. Or you can do it the old traditional way with just using um, a heat with a, from a, like a Bunsen burner kind of thing. Anyway, these are exquisite colors from a ex lovely young man in Switzerland. These are American, fabulous. Um, I think that this is easily the easiest way to go. And we have all sorts of wonderful little seals. Um, we also have them in these little boxes which also make a lovely little don't touch this thing, it's hot. Um, these lovely little boxes, they're great for a gift, particularly for a bride or somebody like that. Um, and I think that's it. Happy sealing!